Hi there, welcome to my kitchen and this is Maine Roses and I'm getting ready to make a cream chicken noodle casserole. Okay, normally it's tuna casserole, but this time I'm going to have cream of chicken and cream of mushroom and chicken in the can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a casserole out of it and I want to bring you guys along for the ride. So I'm going to aim you down. I've got my pot here. i got my water on for my noodles. They haven't come up yet, but I'm going to add some sea salt to it in just a minute. But I'm opening one can of cream of chicken soup. This is Campbell's, but you can use whatever you like. Let me throw that away. Now I do the mixture right on the stove before I add anything to it so I can get the lumps out. I'm doing this kind of in a hurry because I got a friend coming over with my husband. He's gone to mow his lawn and he's bringing him back and he wants to visit. So I wanted to get supper prepared because I have a lot going on. I'm getting ready to open a store. I'm trying to dig my plants for shipping. I'm also selling all my plants. So if you're interested, um, you can find me on Main Roses on eBay. And um, right now I only have one listed, but I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to try to get some more on. I'm going to try to make an attempt to get them listed. So just keep watching for my listings. All right, now I'm going to add the cream of mushroom. You can make this your own. You can add cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, whatever cream base you want. And normally, like I said, it's normally... Um, tuna casserole, but um, I had one can of tuna down there, and it's not my favorite kind of tuna because I like um, Starkiss, so um, because it wasn't down there, I decided I'm going to go with the chicken in the can. So my water is getting nice and hot. It's starting to come up. I'm going to aim you over there as soon as I get this on. I'm going to put this on the other burner, and I'm going to stir the lumps out of it before I add my tuna fish and the remaining ingredients and today I'm going to add some cheese to it too. You can make it different variations as you know it's versatile. So let me just put that in the garbage, that the sink, and then I'm going to aim you towards the burner. I've got two pots. This one here is going on this one. And I'm going to turn it down to medium high. Use my arm. you got your water coming up to boil here. i got three quarters of water. I'm going to add some sea salt. And then when that comes up, I'm going to add my noodles. And I'm using just the no yolks. These are low fat, low cholesterol. So I'm going to set them right there. I'm going to get me a wooden spoon to start stirring my soups. So I can combine them and I can get the lumps out. I always heat them through and stir them because it, it gets the lumps out. It makes them nice and smooth before you can add your remaining ingredients. Okay, the water's coming up to boil. I'm going to let that stay right there and I'm going to get me a slotted spoon and I'm going to stir in my egg yolks or no yolks. And these don't take long. I think the bag says that it takes like 5-10 minutes. Let's see here. 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer for 10, then I'm going to check. And this pot might not do me, but I'm going to try to make it work. I'm just going to stir them and see if I can get them to go down, and yeah, it actually is going to work. I just need another cup of water.
just to pour over, make sure they're all in the liquid. I might need another cup, okay? All right, that should do me. All right. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. Excuse my arm. Okay, there's my 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna stir my mixture. It's on the back burner. Okay, I'm gonna also drain my chicken. I've just got the um, Hannaford chicken breast just in the can. You can add whatever kind you want. And I'm gonna get the strainer because I'm gonna strain them because I don't want that added juice in there. do the second can. I'm adding two cans. All right. I'm going to put them right in the sink. I'm going to get me some mayonnaise. think that adding mayonnaise to a casserole because you're cooking it is gross but it actually gives it a lot of flavor. I'm going to turn down my noodles because they're going to overboil. I got to stop stirring them right now. Got it just in time. Oh, I'm just going to remove them. I should have used a bigger pot but I'm going to turn them down to a medium heat and let them simmer to finish cooking them if we can get away with it. I'm going to leave my spoon right in there. I'm going to stir my mixture in the back so it doesn't burn. It's getting nice and warm. So now I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to flake this chicken into the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to just break it up so we don't have no big old pieces in there. first can. Now we get the second can. Actually I didn't get it all the way around. Okay, now it should work. Give these a nice stir. because my soup is starting to bubble. All right. Now, I'm going to give it a stir. I'm going to turn my heat down to medium low, just on that back burner, just to get this chicken incorporated and break up some more pieces. All right, that looks good. Just make sure there's not no big chunks. All right, I'm gonna take a couple of dollops of mayonnaise. I'm gonna get me a tablespoon. Now that's one dollop. 
So I'm going to add two of them to my pot. Stir that into the mixture. And then I'm going to add no salt because the salt will be in the soup. I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper right on top of my mixture. Add as much or a little as you want. I don't even got a tablespoon, I'm thinking maybe a half a tablespoon. I'm going to stir that into the mixture. And then I'm going to add a little bit of milk, just to thin it out. I'm saying about a quarter of a cup. Just to thin it out. a stir get all them incorporated because some of the water and you don't have to worry if they don't all cook in that 10 minutes because they're going in the oven all right now I'm going to turn this towards me and I'm going to get my pan ready I'm going to aim you down I've got a 9 by 13 pan what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sauce in because this is just a time saver. I could add it when the noodles are in there, but, you know, it doesn't need to be. You're making it your own. And I do it different every time. get all that mix. There we go. And I'm going to put my mayonnaise in my milk in the refrigerator so I don't have to leave them out because it is a hot day here in Maine. I'm going to give my noodles another stir. They're about ready to go off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain them and I'm going to bring you guys back. I'm going to shut both these burners off. I'm going to drain the noodles because the timer's getting ready to go off. I'm going to incorporate that. I know, you can see all that steam. I'm going to incorporate that mixture right in. Molly, I just dropped a noodle. You want to get it? She's underfoot. Everybody knows that watches my videos know that usually she is. All 
I want to incorporate all that mixture right in. So I'm going to keep stirring until all them noodles are covered. So none of them remain dry. Okay, they look good. So I'm going to smooth it out. I'm going to find some breadcrumbs and I'm also going to top it with some cheese. And I have um, a mixture of cheeses. I'm just checking to find out where it is. My husband threw everything in the refrigerator last night and it's a mess. Got the butter. I'm going to have to go in here later and fix it because he's got his mess in my refrigerator. I'm trying to find the mixture of cheeses that I had last night when I made quesadillas, but I don't know where he put them. Here. Yes, Molly, I'm knocking things all over. I'm looking for the cheese that Dad put in the refrigerator. right on the side of the door. Ugh, the whole time. It's a Mexican blend cheese. It's four cheeses. So I'm sorry I took so long. It was right there on the door and I didn't see it. So I'm just going to shake it right on top. That's enough. I'm going to find some breadcrumbs. I'm going to top it off with the breadcrumbs. Usually they're right at hand. Okay, so I don't see any. But you know what? I have these Texas Toast croutons that has Asiago cheese in it that we had for our salad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break a few up. With the cheese and the noodles, it's going to taste good anyways. And this is a brown bread and a rye bread and a wheat bread. And I could just put them in a bag and crush them, but I'm right here and I just want to get this done. Some are giving me a hard time. I want these a little bit smaller. I don't want there to be chunks on there. Now that's good. That's enough. Okay, I'm going to bake that for 350 until it's hot and bubbly. And then I'm going to serve it. But I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. I want to get my hands a quick wash before I let you go so I don't have to touch the computer. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.